Hi, I'm Non from My Authentic Style, and this channel is dedicated to helping you find your authentic style. In this video, I'll be discussing the natural essence, what it is, how it can be expressed, and how to tell if you have it. But first, I think it's important to fully understand just what a style essence is. Please note, in my body typing, I use the Kibi system. For these essence analyses, I'll be using both the Kibi and the Kitchener. I'm adding the Kitchener system because I find it to be a little bit more comprehensive and intuitive, and I've had no issues with using the two together. In fact, I think they complement each other. Okay, so a style essence is different from a body type. The body type is based on a person's body geometry and identifying it helps a person to know their best clothing lines and clothing styles so that they always look their best. An essence is less tangible. It's based on a person's embodiment and personal expression and identifying it helps a person know their inner stylistic character so that they always look like themselves or in a word, harmonious. Essence by virtue of how intangible it is, is difficult to describe. Like class and grace, it's difficult to pinpoint, but you know it when you see it, and it's glaringly obvious when it's missing. A person dressed in a way that captures their essence looks wonderfully complete, and they animate their look, meaning they bring it to life. On the other hand, even in lines that perfectly match their body type, a person who doesn't dress for their essence will look dull and incomplete. Let's consider an example. Solange is unverified, but the general consensus is that she's a flamboyant natural body type, and I fully agree with this classification. I also think that she has a natural essence along with a gamine essence, but for this post, I'll be focusing on her natural essence. In these looks, Solange looks boring. She looks rigid and constricted. The fabrics are too stiff, the construction is also stiff, and the monochromatic color screens are underwhelming on her. The last two looks, the green one in the middle and the silver one to the right, are the least flattering because of this rigidity that works against the flurry nature of her natural essence. The first look, the orange one to the left, is the most flattering because the fabric is softer while still being constructed. So it gently follows and supports her body. The sleeves also allow for movement. That said, the dress is still more stiff than flowy and the single color is boring. These outfits honor Solange's flamboyant natural lines and her natural essence. The last image to the right is fully flamboyant natural. It's light and flurry, dynamic in pattern and floor length. So that long vertical is preserved. While I think she looks beautiful, I don't think this is her best look because it's completely devoid of any gamine elements that would complement all her essences and fully bring her to life. I think she looks her best in the first two looks the red one to the left and the blue one in the middle because they both capture both of her essences. They are primarily natural, but the gamine essence is also present. The natural essence comes through in the mix of, mix of textures, the loosely fitted silhouettes and the longer vertical lines. And the gamine essence comes through in the mix of textures, the fun and playful accessories and the bold pops of color. She looks lively, dynamic, and fun. She takes up more space, and I feel her presence. She brings these looks to life. So what things communicate essence? Essence is elusive, so it's difficult to pinpoint exactly what individual elements create it. In truth, it's probably a combination of all of them. The style of clothing, the color palette, the hair and makeup, and the choice of accessories. However, some of these are more fixed than others. For example, the style of clothing is dictated by a person's body type, 
and the color palette is likely dictated by their color season. So the elements that are left to play with to create or highlight the desired essence are hair, makeup, and the choice of accessories. I call these packaging or tangibles. These tangible elements are the things that anyone can manipulate to recreate a representation of a particular essence. On the right person, it'll come to life and look beautifully natural. On the wrong person, even if it looks beautiful, it will look like a costume. Hair. Hair is communicative. Whether it's tied or loose, sleek or voluminous, polished or unkempt, all of these variations create a different vibe for the person wearing them. Some styles will be more them than others, meaning that some styles will capture their essence better than others. Makeup. Similarly to hair, makeup is a very communicative element of any ensemble. Whether bold or subtle, sharp or blurred, bright or subdued, can create a harmonious look that highlights someone's beauty and essence or one that clashes with it. Accessories. Accessories are fun and dynamic and they allow for the ultimate expression of a person's essence because of all the options that are available. Not only do they complete a look by stylistically tying it all together, but the shapes, colors, textures, edges, and details of each piece can be used to communicate the essence of the wearer. The second category I call embodiment or intangibles. These intangible elements are the crux of an essence. These pieces come together to animate the packaging, which we just discussed, of a person's embodiment, which is really what we're judging when we talk about their essence. Movement. One way that a person's embodiment of their essence can manifest is in how they generally move how they pick up and put things down, how they hold them, how they walk, etc. Certain people can be described as gentle, graceful, and poised. This is a particular embodiment. Other people can be described as fun, energetic, and even strong. This is a completely different embodiment. Speech. How a person talks can reveal a lot about them, and particular ways of speaking lend themselves to certain essences. For example, a person can be bold and direct in how they communicate. This is a powerful and perhaps even dominant essence. Or, a person can be lighthearted and almost frivolous in how they communicate. This is a soft and perhaps even flirty essence. And finally, demeanor. A demeanor is all-encompassing, but it can also be clearly worn on a person's face, and it's how that person is perceived by most people. This is how a person generally outwardly presents. Some people are intimidating and intense, like this picture of Meryl Streep um, in The Devil Wears Prada. In the character she played, I believe she was embodying the essence of Anno and Tor, which is a very strong dominant character that people generally fear. Others can be warm and welcoming. Some are mischievous, some are pure and innocent, some are alluring. This picture in the middle is more sexy and alluring. And this picture to the right captures more of a youthful and innocent essence. I'm purposely putting this here so that we can all remember that an essence can't be boiled down to a formula. The truly animating part, that thing that brings a person's essence to life, is not something that I can pinpoint and describe. It's the ever-elusive muse. It just is. Some people are just a certain way and other people aren't. You either have a particular essence or you don't. If you do, then embodying that essence and allowing it to shine through will make you your most beautiful because it'll make you your most natural, truest self. If you don't have a particular essence, Pretending to have it and trying to embody it will make you your least beautiful because it'll be a cheap imitation of someone else. So to tie it all up, even with everything I've described, there is that particular indescribable magic that we each possess. And you just either have it or you don't have it with regards to a particular essence. 
There are no good essences or bad essences. There's just what's yours and what isn't. Beauty is simply being true to yourself. So what is the natural essence? The natural essence can be described as earthy femininity. It is grounded, sensual, and effortless. It is calm, fresh, and open. Kibi refers to naturals as soft yang, where yang is the masculine principle. I associate that with strength and physicality. So naturals represent a vibe of visible soft strength. The natural body type is a combination of both length and width. The bone structure is large and wide and the edges are blunt. The lines are all loose, sweeping and unconstructed to emphasize this sense of effortlessness. The fabrics are textured and the colors are neutral. It follows that the essence associated with this type builds on the idea of grounded effortlessness. The grounded part speaks to the packaging of this essence that requires natural textures and fibers, neutral colors, and unique and artsy details. The effortlessness part captures the unconstructed nature of this essence that creates an easy, laid back, and approachable vibe. Using the criteria above, the natural essence can be distilled as follows. Hair. Natural hair is effortless and inviting. It's soft, touchable, and easy. Easy in the sense that it's not finicky or ornate. It's free, textured, and full of movement. Texture and body are key for this essence. The hair is not flat or lifeless. It gives the sense of wind flowing through it. The color is a natural or natural looking on the woman wearing them. Think gentle gradations and natural highlights that evoke sun-kissed afternoons. The overall natural look is subtle and so harmonious that it almost feels like nothing to write home about, but this is the brilliance of this essence. It's about highlighting what comes naturally. Makeup. Natural makeup is subtle, balanced, and blended. The colors are neutral and they mimic the palettes that show up naturally on the face. The point of makeup for the natural essence woman is to be a beautiful backdrop so their natural beauty can shine through. Anything too intense on these women will stand out harshly against them. So be careful with lipstick choices and eyeshadow palettes. Subtlety is key, but shimmer can be so beautiful for highlighting these features. Just play around and see what works best. Accessories. Natural accessories are large, textured, gently structured and artsy. They are creatively functional and they can typically be described as effortless chic. In this way, we can understand why the natural essence style is often linked to the hobo aesthetic as they, there is some overlap, particularly in accessories. This essence calls for natural materials and natural colors that evoke earthy tones and landscapes. Movement. Natural movement is powerfully physical and subtly sensual. It's grounded and embodied. It functions as an extension of the essence, connecting the woman to everything she does. So it appears and feels intentional. These women have strong physicality. They do everything with strength and capability. They are not dainty or delicate, but there is something distinctly soft about them, even in their strength. They ooze sensuality, but not in the way of the romantic essence woman. Their sensuality is subtle, weighted and grounded, perhaps even primal. They are attractive in the way that we might struggle to articulate or decode in our minds, but we get at a gut level, at our core. Everything about the natural essence woman is designed to make us feel safe, and that is universally attractive. I think this is why these women have such a great pull. Speech. Natural speech is authentic. It's simple, unrevised, and true. These are the women who can talk deeply and connect with anyone from any walk of life because of their authenticity. They don't speak to impress or convince, just to connect and share. They know their truth and they own it, and they allow others the space to do the same. 
They are wonderful listeners whose presence and conversation makes whoever they speak to truly feel seen and heard. Demeanor. The natural demeanor is carefree, easygoing, and down to earth. It's open, friendly, and approachable. These women are often described as the girl next door because of this open disposition. Another term associated with this essence is salt of the earth because of how uncomplicated and grounded the people who embody this essence tend to be. They make everyone around them feel comfortable and safe to be themselves. They call for no graces or pretenses. They are real and authentic and have a way of pulling that out of others. So what sort of woman does this create? A strong and bold woman with a calm spirit and an openness to life. She embodies her truth and her beliefs and she lives by the values she believes in. These women value the collective but value freedom above all else. This is evident in their style, their career choices and their belief systems. They are unique but in a grounded way. They don't necessarily call attention that doesn't necessarily call attention to itself. Theirs is a quiet, grounded power. There's a boldness to this essence, a bravery, a stubbornness, but wrapped in kindness and an overall sense of calm. These women tend to be approachable, albeit a bit aloof and in their own world. Now let's discuss some natural essence icons. Traditionally, this essence described someone who cared more about comfort and functionality than style. Now, while that has shifted, most naturals like to look good too. There is still something that holds from that original sentiment. The natural essence encompasses a spirit of fiercely holding to your values and what you believe in, even if it's unpopular. A sense of knowing yourself and knowing where you fit in, in the world. Two modern examples of women who embody this essence are American musicians Erica Badu and Solange Knowles. First, Erica Badu. For me, Erica Badu stands out as the greatest natural essence and style, one of the greatest natural essence and style icons of all time. Her style is eclectic, artsy, and unique, but it is also firmly grounded and earthy. She always looks cool and artistic, probably because she is an incredibly cool artist, but she also always looks comfortable. This blend of artistic comfort with the strong undercurrent of earthiness is the natural essence. Erica Badu's style communicates a calm confidence. She is strange and she is proud. She is one of a kind and she leans boldly into her uniqueness. It says, I am who I am, I like who I am, and I will show up as who I am, and I don't care how you feel about it. This is true confidence. That said, for all its fierceness, it is also so calm. She doesn't bash you over the head with her uniqueness. She just quietly embodies it. She's just over there being who she is and your attention or lack thereof has no effect on her whatsoever. This calm confidence elevates her cool factor. I don't know a single person who doesn't think Erica Badu is cool. Whether they like her music or not, her coolness is universal. Erica is an earth goddess. Like Lisa Bonet, who also has this grounded natural essence along with an ethereal essence, I can picture Erica Badu playing Mother Nature. There is something inherently sensual, wild, and free about her. She doesn't belong to anyone. She cannot be contained. She runs with the wolves and she dances with spirits. There is something otherworldly about her and about the women who embody this aspect of the natural essence. There is something that transcends everyday embodiment, such that we often attach a spiritual quality to them. But the spiritual quality is not all pure and good. It also has depth and darkness. Not to say that these women are dark. 
but rather that they give the impression of having faced darkness and overcome it. They know how to handle it. They know how to transmute it. They know how to do magic. They are magical. I like these gifts because they capture a certain don't care attitude that I associate with this essence. In the one to the left, we can see that grounded and earthy aspect at play. Erica Badu in this video portrays a woman living out in the woods by herself, washing her clothes and hanging them out to dry. And all of it is so very natural to me. It captures the desire for simplicity, for living in harmony with the earth and all her creatures, for balance. This setting wouldn't suit any other essence as well as it does the natural essence woman. In this gif, the door slam gives us a glimpse of the power of this essence as well. There is a power to the natural essence woman that won't let anything or anyone interfere with her peace and she will use force to preserve it if necessary. She is peaceful and open, but also strong, capable and fierce. She will put you in your place if she needs to. The image to the right captures Erica's soulful grounded elements, the head wrap, the tattoos, the bead of jewelry and her general embodiment to speak to someone who is here now and fully immersed in the joy of the moment. Her feet are planted firmly in the ground and she feels everything, having no desire to hide or clean up any part of herself. She is an open book and you can see her embody everything that she feels. In this way, the natural essence woman is truly alive. She is free and real and unkempt. She knows that she is enough as she is and that is her power. She doesn't need to try to adapt herself to anybody else's standard. In fact, she loses herself when she tries to do that. To shine, she just needs to express what feels authentic to her in the moment. Solange Knowles. Solange embodies more of the softer, playful, and more delicate aspects of the natural essence. I think this is in part because she also has a gamine essence, which is fun, vibrant, youthful, and playful. I can see the slightness and playfulness in some of these gifts, like the one where she's bouncing her hair. In general, her overall essence has less of the density and grounded earthiness of a truer and natural essence woman like Erica Badu. Solange also has a more delicate, sensual embodiment of the natural essence. Note that sensuality for yang dominant types like a natural is different than sensuality for yin dominant types like romantics. And I'd like to explore that a little bit here. particularly with reference to the two gifts at the bottom where Solange is dancing and you can see her move. In these gifts, I see the physicality of this essence. The natural body type is characterized in part by the obvious strength to varying degrees of the body type that is created by the large and blunt skeletal frame and muscular flesh. So this body type and the woman who embody its essence were made to move. Watching them move their bodies is a joy. While it can invoke sensuality as it does here, that isn't what I see first. Their movement tends to first be impressive for its own power and ability. The appeal is more about the strength of the body and the sensuality stems from this. This is unlike a romantic essence woman, for example, whose sensuality cloaks the body and is perceived first. So natural sensuality is both soft and powerful and its movement embodies a sense of both delicacy and power. So what does a natural essence look like? Let's consider these celebrity examples. 
While each of these women has a different kibi body type, what they have in common is a natural essence. Remember that essence doesn't have a body type. So even though Lisa Bonet is a yin type, potentially a gamine, a romantic type, she's unverified. And Gigi Hadid and Tracy Ellis Ross are them boy and naturals. All of these women have a natural essence. They have in common that they look their best when their hair is in its natural texture, naturally colored, long, loose, when their makeup is subtle, and when their accessories are large, textured, and artistic. In short, they look their best when they look creative, relaxed, and effortless, because this honors their natural essence. True essence is more important than body type essence. It's important to identify your essences because honoring them matters just as much, if not more than honoring your body type lines. A huge mistake would be to assume that your body type dictates your essence, meaning that if you're a dramatic body type, then you must have a dramatic essence. Case in point, Gigi Hadid. Gigi is a flamboyant natural and she has a natural essence. I believe she also has an ingenue essence that is mostly present on her face, but that is to a lesser extent. And for the purposes of this analysis, I'm going to focus on her more dominant natural essence. She looks her best and most harmonious when she honors this natural essence. Please note also that for this particular segment, I'm trying to highlight the difference um, of somebody who has a different body type to a different essence and how if they only focus on the essence associated with their body type, they might get their looks wrong because they would miss the essence that they have. In Gigi's Hadid, I realized after I did the analysis that she does in fact have a natural body type, flamboyant natural, and a natural essence. So in a sense, it defeats the purpose of this segment. Still, I'm going to leave it in because I think it's a good case study. So in the first and second images, to the left and to the middle, Gigi's hair and makeup lean dramatic in essence. The sleek hair and intense makeup colors look harsh and severe on her. In the first image with the red lip, her face looks bigger and puffier because of how the dramatic hair and makeup contrast against her natural lines and contours. In the middle image, that very dark lipstick stands out against her face. There isn't harmony. In fact, when I look at her face, what I see first is her lipstick and it's just very harsh on her. Now in the last image to the right, Gigi looks amazing and like the bombshell beauty that she is. The naturally colored hair, loose curls, and gentle neutral makeup all create a natural essence look that is perfectly harmonious with her. The takeaway here is to make sure that you know your essences so that you can style your hair, makeup, and accessories to honor them. This will bring out your best you. If you don't honor them, then even if you nail the body type lines, you'll still look incomplete and somewhat dull. Essence can be difficult to define because it is so intangible. I hope this video helped decipher what the natural essence is and how it manifests in the people who have it. As we dive deeper into these essence analysis, I'd be remiss if I didn't discuss the following. Sensuality does not equal femininity. I think we have come to incorrectly associate femininity with a particular look because of how it's often portrayed and sold to us. I think this is the reason why so many women shy away from the more quote unquote masculine body types in Kibi and certainly from the associated essences. There's this belief that falling into one of these categories takes away from your femininity, but this is simply not true. Femininity does not have a body type or favorite essence. Femininity is simply the way of being for any woman in her true power. This is true in body types. Dramatic women look their most feminine when they honor their lines and lean into their masculine recommendations. As far as essence is, 
I want to make clear that what I discuss here is a very superficial representation of what it means to be feminine. I can talk about movements, clothing, demeanors, and general ways of being that are more or less feminine as compared to others, but that in and of itself is not femininity. Femininity, as I understand it, transcends these classifications. It exists for all of us, and it is clearly visible, embodied by incredible women who fall into every category of body type and essence, and I hope this series hopes to highlight that. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you liked the video and that you learned something from it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. In fact, please do all the things. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on your notifications. If you like this kind of content and want to read more before the next video, hop on over to my website where I have tons of posts for you to read through. Otherwise, from me, Non, big love, and I'll see you on the next one.